Lil Bambino back. Yes, sir. My dog. You just dropped three songs finally. I've been waiting on you to drop like three songs, four songs. And you just added some songs to your uh, to your YouTube, to all your stuff. So, you know, you go home back to Dallas in less than a month, bro. So, what was it like in Houston? What did you think about our culture out here? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. It's like... People show more love out here than, than in Dallas, bro. That's why I was like, I really want to move out here, but I don't know. It's something, I don't know. I think Houston cursed them with the weather and shit. Yeah, a lot of people say that Houston weather is like one of those things that like, in the morning it can be frigid cold, then by 12 o'clock it's hot as hell. Then in the evening there's a rainstorm and then they're back to being freezing. That's Houston weather, bro. But, uh, so, your process on these three songs you dropped gonzo how could you do me like that and what's the deal you know i know you wrote a lot of those while you were all locked up and shit so what, what those three songs specifically what made you drop those like out of all um, all the ones in your head that you had on your computer i don't know it, that's what I was, that was i really asked myself the same question because i'm like i got at least about 30 songs and i only dropped three i'm gonna i'm gonna drop a mixtape though probably but them songs just like stood out to me the most. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is, bro. Yeah. I mean, we got we got you know your songs playing in the back now, and you know, yeah, uh, all your music is turned. You know what I mean? Like you 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 don't really see that from a lot of Dallas artists. You know, when I think about Dallas artists, I think about Yellow Beezy, and I think about uh, what's that dude Mo3 and. Uh, Trap Boy Freddy and CJ Casino and all of them and I think like all their stuff is like heavily trapped out and like there's a lot of killing and like shit like that but like your music is just like a, it's more you know like upbeat like kind of positive mood like good structure and everything and then what's even crazier you know you make your own beats like I think that's pretty cool because you make your own beats and I know you've been wanting to branch out and make beats for other rappers too. Like it's rare that you got uh, a rapper that makes his own beats. That's on some like Pharrell or Kanye West shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but that's rare. That's rare. But uh, so you're gonna drop a mixtape? When, when do you plan on dropping it? I was thinking about dropping it on my birthday. Uh, August 27th. Oh, nice. Virgo game. Yeah, you know what, man? Y'all Virgos are something else. My, my, my son's mom is a Virgo, and uh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. But, uh, yeah, dog. So, you know, I think a lot of people would listen to your mixtape because looking at all your YouTube stats, you got over 100 views on all three of those videos in less than a month. Yeah. Like, you know, for me, whenever I first started out, on my YouTube channel, I was only getting like five views on like one video for like a whole month. Mm -hmm. And then I jumped up and got everything rolling. But you know, for a rapper, especially coming from Dallas, cause you know, with Dallas rappers, they, uh, it's like there's a dime a dozen and like people rarely listen to y'all uh, all the time. Like, and then there's just so many of y'all. Yeah, like, a then there's a lot of Dallas rappers. There's just a lot. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah, there's just a lot. So, you know, I think you do have a place in the rap community, especially making your own beats. So I think that's really lit. Because that. in Dallas, you know, everyone goes to like, everybody wants to go with the more known producers like Drama Boy and uh, who's the one? Uh, OG Parker and uh, some, what's the dude from Houston? Uh, Chase something, chase the money. Chase yeah, the money. Yeah, the money. yeah, yeah. Everybody's going to them now for their beats and stuff. But like you doing that shit, like so. And I know you could be making beats for other rappers, but you be saving that that gold for yourself. Yeah, yeah. I I just made like thirteen beats in like two days, bro. I Man, we got to get you set up on a website so you can start selling beats. Yeah, we got to get you set up with that. But uh, what's your plans when you go back to Dallas, dog? Um. I actually don't know. I know I'm going to get a job because I got three sons, so I'm trying to provide. And right now, it's like I'm not providing, you know what I'm saying, as a man, you know what I'm saying? So, but that's going to be the first thing and shit. But I'm definitely going to like try to get more books, like book some more shows and shit like that. Like, Hell yeah. Clubs and shit like that. Yeah. 
so I can get my name out there in the city. You know? Honestly, bro, I think you should uh, try to get booked at strip clubs. Yeah. Because you know, the motherfucking trap boys and dough boys and all that, they want to hear shit like this yeah. when they spending all that money, their whole life savings on a poker or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you know how that goes, bro. People, they, they, they book a rapper at a strip club. You do like a two hour set. And then, you know, you in, in the whole time, these dudes are dropping like thousands upon thousands of dollars, their whole life savings on one female that they'll never see again. So you know that, that that's how that goes. I I, I I can't lie. I was one of those dudes. Yeah. I was one of them. I ain't gonna lie. I went to the strip plus. I threw thirty dollars. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna pay her bills. I'm not gonna pay her rent and shit. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I got kicked out of strip club. This is the reason why I don't go back. I got kicked out because someone I'm not friends with anymore mm. took had a pocket full of money and took out some coins and threw it at the girl. Oh. And so we got kicked out. They throwing quarters and everything. It was really dimes and like nickels. Hey, that shit sound funny. I should have recorded that shit man. Okay. Well, you know, it's he just... did it and we got kicked out and the bouncer wasn't happy at all. Like, I mean, I'm five foot four, five foot three and a half, and this dude is like three inches taller than you and like solid, like you you know what the baby security guard looks yeah, like? Like yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. This dude is grabbing me by the neck, throwing me out, and I'm not even the one who threw the coins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, dog. So Dallas, you know, Dallas is is a cool place for music. Yeah. Dallas has been the center, one of the centers in Texas for a lot of big names, a lot of big yeah. rappers, a lot of growth and stuff comes out of that city. A lot of the hardest songs in rap culture comes out of Dallas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, I think you do have a place out there. I think you do belong yeah. in that community. Yeah, yeah. But I like I said, I think you should really branch out and make beats for other rappers yeah. I, I think you, you you could like dominate on that shit cause you make a beat and you do that shit in like 10 minutes and then yeah. you got like a beat that is getting hella views on your songs and shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what really make my songs but I a reason oh yeah that's the reason why I ain't dropped some of my songs cause uh somebody was like it's like the beat that you made it don't go with the you know what I'm saying the yeah. vibe and the words and shit so it's like I try to really like Focus on like trying to vibe on the beat, you know what I'm saying? That's why I, that's why I made a song called Vibe, you know what I'm saying? Trying to vibe on that bitch, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But so, yeah. being on probation, yeah, how has that slowed down your music? Um, to be honest, I think that's why I never dropped because I didn't want him all in my business, you know what I'm saying? His fat ass, fuck that, yeah, you see, and that's the thing, like a lot of probation officers take this job too seriously yeah. and they go zooming in on your life yeah. and they go to your social media accounts mm -hmm. they go to your facebook your parents accounts and your family's accounts and then be like where were you on saturday at 3 13 yeah. p.m like like the music videos yeah right right yeah, and that's yeah, why yeah. you know that's why a lot of people who aren't even on probation are getting popped for having guns in their videos because these overly anxious uh, probation officers and law enforcement are sitting there trying to zoom in on people's lives and trying to put a charge on somebody but i do understand because i was on probation for a misdemeanor but yeah. you know i understand how that crap goes with being on probation but you know honestly i wouldn't use the, I, I wouldn't let that probation shit get to me bro yeah and that's what my mentor told me too he told me that shit man. he was like we're gonna he said drop all the music you can and then we gonna have a a, a concert in where I'm on probation and shit, he's like, we're gonna have a concert in, the, in that county where I was like, yeah. Like, that would be dope. That shit would be dope, right? Right, now, and then the thing is, you know, you're not, you're not inviting. I mean, of course, people are gonna do drugs at a concert, yeah, yeah. but you're not the one doing that. You didn't promote it. Yeah. You know, you're just making money doing your music thing, paying your probation fees, so he can't complain. But you know, those law enforcement people, they always find a way to knock down somebody. And then on top of that, uh, the, the system isn't made for black men. Nah, hell nah. nah, nah, nah. I think that's why they gave me five years, bro, So because they, they thought I was going to fail. You know right. What I'm and, they to and then, you know, with the statistics on probation, they say, mm -hmm. like, 97% of the people on probation don't complete don't, yeah, they successfully. Don't complete that shit, yeah. Either you get it on your record forever, or you go to prison, yeah. or you get some type of stipulation yeah. that further affects your life mm -hmm. 10, 20 years down the line. Yeah. But... Yeah, dog, you'll get through this. Yeah, uh, yeah, I only got one more year left. I mean, yeah, like eleven months. Now. Oh, yeah. So I'm, that'll be five years. So fuck them niggas. I'm gone. Yeah, yeah. So 
you had mentioned to me before, you know, rap beef and stuff. How do you how do you feel about uh, old boy that made? There was a dude that made a song about you called Bloody Pumas, and you know, considering the person that he is, how do you feel about a diss being thrown at you? Just man, to be honest, bro, I really don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, you took the energy out of your day. To write a song about me, you know what I'm saying? I'm really honored, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real, like, fuck that nigga, bro. But he, I'm really not worried about him, bro. But rap, that rap beef shit, I wish not me, not I'm not talking about him, but other rap beef, I wish they would just come together, bro. And it, it'll be so much money y'all can make together. So that everybody either fucking with this person and fucking with this person. But if both of them niggas hop on a song, you know what I'm saying? That yeah, that should go dumb, bro. But yeah, I mean, but but it's already bloodshed behind that shit, so it's like, hey, I ain't gonna make this on no song with that nigga, you know what I'm saying? So, right. I don't know, but fuck that nigga. I don't know what I would say. I would drop his name. Fuck that nigga though. Yeah, we are gonna leave his name out yeah, just because we don't want. You know, there's always somebody watching. There's yeah. always somebody yeah, watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some idiot, some dickhead's watching, and it's gonna. Oh hey, he said this about you. Yeah. And I don't want nobody coming after us, but Sounds good. yeah, bro. So, any features you want to do with some more local artists? I know you. Want, I know you're supposed to do a song with that dude, Matt K, the K Baby, right? Nah, it was Young Mo, Free Young Mo, man. On my mama, bro. I was just man. It's crazy. I showed. I showed you that yeah. Cap in the Hat. Song, Cap in the Hat. Thirty two yeah. shots. Poof. I'm telling. You, I done showed a lot of niggas in Houston that nigga. So I really want to make a song with that nigga, bro. And. I want to make a song with the whole RBE team, yeah, RBE till I die. You know what I'm saying? Rich Boys Empire. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to. I want to make a song with DJ Ray Ray. Mim. I want like an RBE anthem on that hoe. Okay? That shit gonna be. That shit gonna be live. Oh wait, wait. Who's RBE? RBE, Rich Boys Empire. Is that like Dallas thing? Yeah, it's 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 like a little clique. Me and my partners made for my Instagram. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah